I just bought shares of the next 10x EVTOL growth stock. Okay guys, so welcome to the channel. My name is TJ guys and we are going to talk about this amazing high growth stock that is going to absolutely crush it uh, in the next couple of years. But before we get into the video guys, I want to talk a little bit more about the channel. For you guys that are new to the channel here, my name is TJ. I make videos on high growth stocks particularly in industries that are going to see robust gains in the next five to ten years so we're not talking about stocks like walmart or stocks like american express we're talking about stocks like tesla spotify things of that nature so if you guys are interested in the content that i'm making on this channel be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to receive more future videos as well so before we get into this stock that you guys see on the screen here i'm going to talk a little bit more about it before i get into that i want you to make sure you guys head over to weeble and grab your two free stocks guys weeble is an awesome alternative to Robinhood. i use the platform every day not just to buy stocks but i also use it to buy bitcoin and if you guys use the link in the description below you will get two free stocks all you have to do is open a brokerage account and deposit at least $100 guys awesome awesome offer and they might be um, actually getting rid of this offer by March 31st guys so make sure you grab your free stocks by clicking the link in the description below okay guys so let's get into the meat of the content here so what exactly is stock that I'm talking about if you guys take a look here the charting software I'm using is trading view guys so you guys can download this for free just go to tradingview.com or you can download the app on your phone it's my favorite charting software guys so make sure you check out the software you can also check out and click one of the links in the description below if you sign up one via one of my via one of my referral links it'll really help me out so the stock that we're going to look at guys uh for you guys out there for you uh, redditors out there too long didn't read the stock that we're going to talk about is acic guys so this is the spat that is going to merge and form the newly formed company called archer aviation guys and i've been really waiting to talk about archer aviation but the stock ran up as you can see here it ran up so fast uh, I ran up all the way to 17 almost $18 back in February of last month. So I've been waiting until it became unpopular because one of the things that I'm trying to um, like really emphasize on this channel is that if you want to make money in the stock market, it's basically you want to be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. So obviously stocks over the long run, they trade on fundamentals, but in the short run, it's all emotions, guys. So, you know, once this uh, spat merger was announced, the stock just ran up and I didn't buy shares in it. So now I was waiting for the stock price. So now most of these spat deals start around $10 and this stock is currently trading at $10 and 13 cents guys. So you are literally getting in on the ground floor here. So this is the perfect, perfect time. I think to make this video, a lot of these, that's like the aviation, the electric aviation stocks, right? So you have the electric vehicle stocks, electric aviation stocks. Um, these stocks are so unpopular right now. So I thought this was the perfect, perfect time to talk about this because you can basically get in on the ground floor. So guys, let's talk a little bit more about what this company is and what's going. Okay, guys, so we head over here to Seeking Alpha to give you guys the full um, announcement. So on February 10th, as you can see here, the deal is officially uh, posted and it says the, the company, the SPAT company. So these are basically, it's basically cash looking for a business. Atlas Crest Investment Corp is going to be merging a deal that's valued around 3.8 billion dollars so one of the reasons why this is such a huge deal guys is this company was backed by united airlines and united airlines invested a billion dollars into this company and when i mean invested they ordered a bunch of these aircrafts which i'm going to talk a little bit about and united airlines is the cream of the crop of the airlines guys it has the biggest largest um uh, airline network in the entire world and the fact that they gave these two young guys, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about in uh, in a second, the reason they gave these two these two young guys a billion dollars because they really really believe in the company. So as you can see here, we're going to talk a little bit more about the complete deal uh, in the presentation. But I just wanted to explain more about what's been going on. So after this deal goes public, it's going to be listed under the ticker symbol ACHR, and Archer is developing an electric vehicle takeoff and landing aircrafts or EV tolls. These are helicopter-like aircrafts that can take off and land without runways. 
The company believes it can revolutionize travel within cities via eco-friendly eVTOL that will travel as much as 60 miles at 150 miles per hour. The company plans to unveil its eVTOLs later this year. United also plans Wednesday to buy $1 billion of Archer's eVTOLs with an option to purchase another $500 million. And it says the company intends to use the eVTOLs to get passengers from urban areas to airports for their United flights, guys. So this is a huge, huge, huge uh, deal. You know, these airline companies, they're getting smarter. And they're realizing that, hey, you know, there's a lot of opportunity in electric aircraft. So obviously, the electric cars is, is really taking off. Tesla's done really well, but no one's really talking about electric aircrafts. So as you guys probably know, if you guys ever, obviously, most of you guys have probably ridden on a plane before. You know that a lot of these planes, they emit a lot of toxic chemicals and a lot of carbon um byproducts into the atmosphere so it's just exactly the same problem that we have of cars we have with planes so basically right now on our planet um cars are polluting our air and then these airplanes they go you know thousands of miles tens of thousands of miles in the air and then they pollute the air up there so both of these um products or both of these kind of um you know transportation uh vehicles have to be replaced and now the thing about this stock is that this is a a, a far 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 uh, far far ahead project so as you can see here it says United hopes to use Archer's eVTOLs to get passengers to his major hubs in 2024 guys so this is a long-term stock hold you're gonna be if you're interested in this stock you're gonna be holding it for some years so just understand that if you don't see it move that much in a short uh, run uh, I wouldn't really panic and of course as I mentioned um, earlier and I mentioned in the title guys Arc Invest has actually invested in this stock, guys. So if we go over to this really interesting site here. Okay, so we're on this site. It's called uh, Kathy'sArc.com, guys. I'm going to link to this in the description below in case you want to check it out. But this site basically tracks the holdings of Kathy Wood. So Kathy Wood is the uh, founder of Arc Invest, guys. Arc Invest was the number one ETF firm in 2020. Uh, they really, really made a lot of money for investors with the Tesla call. And, and Kathy Wood, she's been all over. She's on YouTube, she's NBC, and places like that. She's really bullish on these, um, basically these high growth stocks that, these disruptive high growth stocks that are going to change a lot of these industries. So as you can see here, uh, under her firm, she bought about 1.4 million shares of Archer, guys. So she started building her position in February, uh, um, it's February 16th. And she's been adding shares recently, guys. So this is some really exciting news. And if we take a look here at a, a more in-depth look at the actual ETF that she bought these under, she bought these under the ARC Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF. That's the ticker symbol ARKQ, guys. You can see right here, as you can see here closely, I'm going to highlight this. It says Atlas Crest Investment Corp. She bought 1.4 million shares. So obviously, you know, she didn't build a huge position in this. It's no nowhere near being one of her biggest positions. The biggest position in this fund is still, of course, Tesla, because Tesla, I think, is the king of the EVs. But the fact that she bought this stock means that there's some upside here. So now we're going to talk a little bit more about the company itself in depth and why I think it's a great buy guy. Okay, so here we are on the Archer website. So guys, you can head out, check out this website yourself. It's just archer.com and here's a picture of one of these aircrafts guys so this is some futuristic types looking stuff when I saw this on YouTube and I was doing reading a bunch of articles my jaw dropped and the fact is you're gonna even be more shocked when you take a look at how old the two founders of this company is and if I'm correct with this and just like United Airlines is investing in them uh, Kathy Woods Arc Invest is invested in them I think these two guys could become definitely two of the biggest and most important entrepreneurs in the entire world in the next 10 years because these the founder of this company these guys are super young guys super young millennials so as you can see here we're here on the website so it says humans are destined to explore but we put ourselves inside vehicles that slowed us down not anymore experience how archers urban electric jets are powering everyday flight so here's another look at these aircrafts so basically the company right now is positioned to just produce one of these aircrafts um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in depth but I just wanted to get, show you guys the website so now we're going to talk about the actual product that they're creating so here's the actual maker this is the aircraft guy so this is an amazing looking thing and the best thing about this is that for me personally I think it looks great I think you know obviously guys we're not going to really talk about the technical aspects so much of this because this really isn't um, a technology channel this is an investment personal finance type of channel 
But, you know, looking at this aircraft myself, I say, number one, it's, it's very attractive. It's very good looking. And best of all, it's electric, guys. So let's get a little bit more into what's going on with this thing. So it says the Maker is our full scale electric vehicle takeoff and landing aircraft capable of traveling 60 miles at 150 miles per hour. Whether commuting or exploring, Maker will allow you to have transformative travel experiences every day so now we can talk a little bit about obviously guys i'm not an engineer um, but we can talk a little bit more about some of these specs it says lightweight composite structure vertically integrated battery redundant altitude sensors and a redundant avionics guys so um like i said uh everything looks great guys and one of the things i like about this plane is that it says at only 45 decibels Archer aircraft will be inaudible by flying overhead. So basically, this is a silent aircraft, and it looks pretty spiffy inside as well. So this is an awesome-looking product, and I just I just really am rooting for these guys that are producing this. So as you can see here, the battery is 75 kilowatts. The aircraft itself weighs 1 point, uh, 1,500 kilograms. Um, it has a passenger touchscreen. Up top speed is 150 miles per hour, 60 miles range, 100% electric, and 365 kilowatts of hover power guys so this is basically what you're investing in when you're buying shares of this company this is what you are basically investing in guys so now i want to talk a little bit more about the founders because i think this is interesting as well i'm going to go into the investor presentation and wrap things up okay so now let's talk a little bit about the management team itself so you can take a look at these are the two founders of archer brad adcock and adam goldstein guys so these are two very young very young co-founders and um you know one of the things that i've been trying to do when i'm trying to invest in a lot of these high growth companies i'm trying to put my money and position myself with guys that i think are going to become some of the richest guys in the world so if you saw elon musk like 10 years ago you know when he was talking about electric vehicles and things like that you knew this guy was going to be mega rich and then the same thing with jeff bezos how he was talking about disrupting e-commerce so if you can find and identify these founders and ceos that have great ideas and they're going to be really really rich in the future by hodling their own corporate stock then you can get rich along with them basically by buying the exact same stock and that's worked really well for tesla shareholders it's worked well for amazon and hopefully it'll work well with these guys so as you can see here guys you can check out this i'm not going to read all of this but basically talks a lot about I've, I've been talking about early on the channel it says today half of the world lives in cities the united nations projects that by 2050 close to 70 percent of the world will live in cities guys and another important point morgan stanley estimates this new air electric aircraft market would be 1.5 trillion by 2040 and it says cost our goal is to make our service affordable to the masses that means driving operating costs down to the price of ride sharing and over time the cost of car ownership so this company is basically all about disrupting how we fly guys and here's their master plan in three simple points build an aircraft to demonstrate the capabilities of electric VTOL certify an aircraft that's just as safe as commercial airliners launch commercial routes and cities and integrate an autonomous uh, safe systems for safety guys so like I said guys the two co-founders here these these seem like some really smart guys and the fact that United Airlines gave them a billion dollars with a B when they have no revenue their their product isn't even finished it's just a simple prototype and idea they got a billion dollars in their uh in, in pre-orders guys with an additional 500 million if they like the aircraft so i'm betting with these guys so now let's talk a little bit more about the investor presentation because i believe now the upside for this stock is really unlimited it's basically trading at its the minimum price of the spat deal so now we want to just basically talk about the financials and what we can expect from this company in the future so guys i think it's really important in this decade to invest in these types of businesses we have so many problems when it comes to climate change with the way um you know we treat our environment and stuff like that it's over polluted and these companies you've got uh, archer i mentioned ehong earlier joby aviation these companies are going to really 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 help clean up our air guys so this is going to make things a lot better so it says the ev toll could generate 18 times more revenue than a ride sharing car and this is basically a comparison of how ev tolls can basically take people um to many more trips at a shorter distance so as you can see a ride share car can only do around 10 trips a day but an, an ev tall aircraft can do 25 trips and that means that these aircrafts are going to generate a lot more revenue 2.4 million revenue per year versus just 137 with a ride sharing car uh, and also as you can see here we talked about the air urban air mobility market is going to be a really really profitable market in the future 
things are really looking good. I think right now people really are um, like, you know, comfortable with flying like that. But I think things are definitely going to change in the future as more people get used to it and people just kind of copy each other and start uh, riding on these urban mobility aircrafts. So as you can see here, here's a couple of their competitors. We mentioned Ehong earlier. We mentioned Joby. Um, you know, Archer is in a great position, guys. They, they're backed by United. United's a great company, one of the best airlines out there. And, um, you know, they're, they're going to, all of these companies are going to do well, probably. Some are going to do better than others, but this is a wide open market and no one's really doing this. So I think that the early innovators are going to do really well. And Archer is definitely one of them, guys. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the financial summary, guys. This is a very, very long term play. So as you can see here, they don't expect really to ramp up production till 2024, where they pr plan to produce 10 aircrafts and generate a $42 million in revenue. So they expect that revenue to reach um, around a billion dollars um, in 2025, it looks like. And they expect to go cash flow positive in 2026 as well. So guys, like I said, the reason why I think this is a 10x stop, probably more like a 20 to 25x, maybe 50x stop a stock is simply because, um, you know, things aren't going to get going. And so, so far in the future. So the opportunity here is huge, guys. So now let's talk a little bit about at the valuation of this company right now. Well, as I mentioned earlier in this video, um, basically you're getting in on the ground floor. You can't, really can't invest in this company any cheaper than ten dollars that is usually uh the minimum stock listing price for most of these spat deals if the deal doesn't get done then they simply return the share the cash to shareholders at around 10 bucks so literally you're getting in on the ground floor the only way you could have gotten this stock cheaper is if you had been a, a early private investor um before the company uh plan to merge with this bad deal but guys ten dollars a share we've seen a lot of great uh growth stocks out here trade at you know a couple hundred bucks we've seen amazon and tesla stuff like that trade at thousands pre-split so uh the upside is there and it's an excellent excellent valuation so it's as cheap as it's going to get it's basically trading the stock is trading at around you know ten dollars right now so let's take a look at the transaction overview so they expect the entire value of the company to be around 3.8 billion dollars and right now that's basically what it's worth on the exchange and there's going to be around 375 million shares outstanding so the the deal should close this year probably in q2 is my best bet if you guys find out exactly when be sure to tell me and um as you can see here guys you know pretty straightforward you know basically it's gonna the deal is gonna be made up of private investors um and shareholders who bought the spat stock and of course the the founders and things like that guys but 3.8 billion dollars so let's talk a little bit more about where this stock can go in the future so guys i talked a lot about this stock i think this is an excellent opportunity and the fact that kathy wood stamped this stock by investing in it early as well and united as well these are two very 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 smart pioneers when it comes to um you know the airline industry and of course the investment industry as well so where can this stock go well in 2025 to 2026 the company said they would do about a billion dollars in revenue and we could take a simple price to sales ratio guys a lot of these growth stocks you can't use price to earnings because they're not generating a profit but if we take a like a price to sales ratio of just even like 10 to 15 that this stock is easily a 10 to 15 billion dollar company and right now it's under four billion dollars so that would just be like the initial upside once revenue ramps up and if we go back to the presentation i can show you guys the reason why i think this is going to be a 10x stock because it's expected to be worth a ton more in the future okay so if we go back here for my 10x bullish case we can see here that in 2028 revenue is going to be around four billion dollars guys so four billion dollars with a simple price to sales ratio of 10 that would put this company at about a 47 to 48 billion dollar company which is currently 10x the stock price now i know what you a lot of you guys are thinking 2028 that's a long time from now guys but you know what this industry is going to grow so just consider yourself getting in on the ground floor guys i think this is an awesome awesome opportunity here can't get these shares any cheaper this is a great time to buy so that's it for now guys i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel for more in-depth analysis we're going to be talking a lot about ev toll stocks in the future and just the whole electric uh vehicle industry in general this is a major major disruptive energy got um 
sector, guys. And not only is it going to make you a lot of money as an investor, but it's going to do a lot for climate change and really, really improve our planet, guys. That's at the end of the day, that's what we need to do. We need to leave this place better than when we got here, guys. So that's the focus of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my content. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out my daily stock watch newsletter and also check out my private Discord chat. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, please, please, please smash the like button. It really helps out. Uh, it helps me make more videos so you guys can enjoy them. So that's until next time, guys. Take care.